global problem is climate change itself, but in particular we're focusing on the international politics of climate change and trying to reach some kind of international agreement. We're interested in the transfer of low carbon, clean energy technologies from developed countries where they're mainly owned to developing countries where they can be put to use so that those countries can still develop economically, we can alleviate poverty, but we can do so in a way that doesn't involve the emission of excessive carbon and other greenhouse gases. The kind of technologies we look at range across a spectrum from energy generation like wind, solar or clean coal, right the way through to hybrid vehicles. Sussex University is specifically well placed to conduct this research because it's a world centre of expertise on energy policy research. We have a group called the Sussex Energy Group based here which consists of around 17 researchers who are world leaders in energy policy research. We're often a first point of call for many policymakers that are looking for empirical advice to inform their policy making. There's a vital meeting of the United Nations that's going to happen in Copenhagen in December where they're going to try and reach an agreement on what's going to replace the Kyoto Protocol as an international agreement on climate change. So our goal in this research is to provide grounded case study, empirical evidence from the ground in a developing country, specifically India, to inform those negotiations so they're no longer just based on political rhetoric, they have some basis in empirical fact. The political debate on low carbon technology transfer is incredibly complicated. It sounds really straightforward. All we need to do is give clean energy technologies to developing countries where they can be put into use. But you've got to remember that governments don't own these technologies. These technologies are owned by private companies, which makes it incredibly difficult for policymakers to intervene. Added to which, if you're a developed country that has a competitive economic advantage, a lot of that is based on your technological advantage. So it's not really in your economic advantage to give those technologies to countries like India and China who are rapidly becoming your competitors. It actually becomes a very tricky economic problem in reality and we need to find creative ways around this. So part of our research is helping policymakers to understand how they might actually take a route around this in policy that gets over those really tricky competitive problems.